Hello everybody, welcome back to the FCF 5 PD server. Paul F here. Hope you guys are doing well on this wonderful Monday. Hope you guys are recovering from an awesome St. Paddy's Day weekend. Exciting stuff going on in the uh, OCRP community, guys. If you didn't know, the OCRP application window is open. So for those who uh, meet the requirements or are interested in joining uh, OCRP, head on over to the official uh, OCRP uh, website and throw an application in. We'd love to see on the server. What's going on in this patrol? We're going to be doing episode three, but we're going to be up in the county. Seeing uh, what county shenanigans we can get into. We're going to be out here in the 2013 FPIU, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. We also threw in a uh, new EUP uh, uniform, so you'll see uh, me rocking a new uniform, or a couple of new uniforms in the next few episodes. Still kind of developing things as the things progress into the server here. But again, guys, I hope you're doing well. It's good to have you here, and uh, let's get out there and see what things we can get into. All right, so we got this uh, Karen Rebel in front of us. He just blew through the stop sign. Didn't come to a stop, just kind of slow rolled it. So we're going to go ahead and stop him and uh, see what his deal is. Behind him, see if I can't move him here. Get him off the road here so uh, I don't get absolutely obliterated when I get out of the car. Look at that sunset. Absolutely beautiful. I think it's my first time doing this. County 901, I'll be on a 1050 eastbound, correction, westbound Joshua Road, nearest postal 1039. It's on a uh, rusted out Rebel. San Andreas 04. Golf Alpha Kilo 334 04 GAK 334. Occupy times one. Oh, yeah. New EUP and everything. Looking fly. Looking fly, my guy. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? Uh, Deputy Paul with the uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. I'm stopping you back there at Seaview and uh, Joshua Road. You didn't even uh, come to a stop as you were. Uh, going westbound there. Any reason for that? Let's see what she has to say. Ask questions. Intro dialogue. Greetings. How are you doing? In a rush. My girlfriend is home alone. I can see why that would be a problem. You know the routine. ID, please. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. Sandra, questions. Do you know why I stopped you? I didn't have anything to drink, officer. Ugh. Nice. Love the acting. So good. Do you know why I pulled you over? Yeah, because you're a dick and you like, oh. <sighs> well then. Well then, ma'am. I got, <laughs> I got got home. 96 dispatch, 1050, uh, East Joshua. All right, uh, Miss Calderon, just swing in the vehicle with your hands uh, on the wall, please. I'll be back in a second. Mini, uh, San Andreas uh, plate, Michael, Michael, Lima, Lima, Charlie. Like by times one. So it sounds like we've got another sheriff's deputy unit out there uh, pulling a traffic stop. So, yeah, as I shoot these episodes, guys, like, um, you know, there's other uh, FCF uh, members out there on the road. They're on patrol taking calls, and uh, so it's, it won't be uncommon to hear them uh, keying up on the radio in the background. So, um, But we're out here doing our thing as well. Let's look up uh, Rhonda Calderon and see what she's got going on here, shall we? Rhonda Calderon. Enter. What's your deal? Rhonda Calderon, 324 of 64. She's 59 year old female. She lives at 1994 Riverside Road down in Los Santos. Okay. Valid. Alright. Well, even though she made some snarky comments to us, I feel like we can give her a warning and get her on down the road, no problem. Alright, ma'am. Again. If, do me a favor, please, as you're uh, driving in the uh, county here, just make sure that uh, before you proceed through a stop sign that you do, in fact, come to a complete stop, okay? Oh, yeah, no problem, officer. I'm sorry about that. I was uh, texting my girlfriend. Remember, she was home alone. You really don't like, uh, you know, 
wieners. Okay, I'm so sorry I said that to you. Yeah, ma'am, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. All right, you have any questions before I let you go? Yeah, it's no, no problem at all, deputy. All right, you have a great night, ma'am. All right, she's free to go. Another uh, satisfied uh, member here in the uh, member citizen member. She's a member citizen of the Blaine County. <laughs> All right, verbal warning issued. I gotta love it. This thing's an absolute beaut. Yeah, beautiful sunset in the background too. Looks really good. But she got over warning, guys, and uh, we'll head on uh, into uh, Sandy and the Harmony area and see uh, what else we can. Uh, what other bad guys we can find? All right, guys, we just got uh, sent a call for a recklessly driving vehicle up here on Joshua Road. We're going to try to get over here and uh, catch up to it. Okay, I don't want to be in route to a reckless driver on Joshua Road. Advise final post on 197. I don't want to push this going to be 1,000 in a Joshua Road standby. Failure to yield 1009 Marina. It's a uh, black and color minivan. San Andreas plate 48 X ray Delta Echo 579 48 XTE 579. Most of the short 32s for the pursuit. 96 and a half. Going back eastbound on uh, Marina Drive, very slow speed. Westbound Joshua 1010. Making the turn off on the Calafia towards Stab City 1008. Stand by, she's turning back around here, going back out towards Joshua. Southbound Joshua Road, postal coming up uh, 918. Stand by, we're making the uh, turn off here towards 68 approach. Well, now on the 68 now, going westbound towards Zancudo now on Fort Postal. Speeds uh, roughly 40 50 miles an hour passing vehicles. Uh, still westbound 68 912. Stand by. Just made the exit on San Cudo Grand Valley. Uh, going southbound towards LS 1006 Postal. So we've got the call for the vehicle driving recklessly, and we went on scene. The vehicle, I guess, decided to take off, so I'm just waiting for additional units to uh, respond here. Let's see if we can't uh, either pit or stop the vehicle before this gets out of the city. We've got uh, pedestrians, obviously more vehicles, and uh, a bigger risk to the uh, public than uh, driving up, like, down San Cudo Grand Valley. Still southbound, San Cudo Grand Valley, 913 Postal. Just signal forward into a passerby, still continuing southbound, San Cudo Grand Valley. One, uh, correction, 707 Postal now. Head towards the city. Made the uh, right turn, right turn going northbound on Zancudo Barranco, 707 Postal. Vehicle does not want to stop. Uh, 458, I just pulled over a black bad blue to a white Mustang for speeding. Uh, I gave him a verbal warning. Alright, making the uh, right turn, right turn northbound on Tonga Drive. Heading back up towards 68, 1004 Postal, 096 for 20. I'm at uh, Zancudo, Barranca, 707. Copy that. We just pulled back out onto uh, 68, now heading eastbound, 68, back towards Army. Got 
does not want to stop. I mean, he's, luckily he's only caused a few uh, civil wars. And he's not shooting at us, which is always uh, a plus. We're still eastbound, uh, 68, 1006 post of Torch Army. Continuing eastbound 68, 914 Postal. Taking the off ramp, off ramp 68 approach towards Joshua, 915 Postal. Sorry guys, just trying to focus on this guy and make sure that I don't run into him. Making the uh, northbound, northbound turn onto, correction, southbound, southbound turn to Joshua 924, back towards Harmony and 68. Oh, I see red and blues. I see red and blues. Going up to uh, Joshua and 68, making the westbound, westbound turn. Oh, I see red and blues everywhere. Westbound, westbound on 68, postal 916. Making a left, 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 left turn. Uh, southbound, Zancudo Grand Valley, 1006. I'm going to try to pit him if I can when I get a second. Another signal for another signal for I'm going to try to stop I'm going to get past this car. I'm going to try to pit him, guys. Well, they definitely ran into him. Successful uh, southbound on Sekudo Grand Valley, 1005. Good lord. The idea is to pit him and block him in, but I guess, uh, you know, like ramming him <laughs> still will do the trick too. Still southbound Sekudo Grand Valley, uh, 707 postal. Try to pit him again here once I get past this car. Definitely almost lost control there. Holy moly. America! Alright, so uh, now northbound on Galileo Road, plus a 703. Relentless, dude. Oh my goodness, you think I could pit him? Like I've done this once or twice before. All right. <laughs> Gotta love it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Pit successful and again now continuing uh, eastbound on Galileo Road coming up to Baytree Canyon. Yes, a minivan. The soccer mon van is eluding us. You think we'd be able to get it stopped? All right, enough for you. No! There's three of us and we can't block it in! Oh my gosh. Vehicle now eastbound Mount Han 707. Oh! Oh gosh!
Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Got a pit stopped at 707. I'm taking one into custody. Holy moly, dude. What are you doing? Good lord. What were you thinking, man? I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Unbelievable. You got anything on any know about guns, knives, drugs, weapons? Or in custody. I didn't want to go to jail. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I killed my sister. Nope, I know my rights. Well, that's terrific. I'm just gonna patch it down. Natasha Kendrick. Let's see what we find on Natasha here. A wine bottle, pack of pens. Are you been drinking, dude? I think we give him. I think I have stuff. I think uh, I can give him uh, some FSTs and. Uh, Let's see. I've been drinking water. Okay. It's not my car. Okay. Horizontal gaze. Fails the test. Walk and turn test. Fails the test. Oh, no. He passes. Passes. Okay. Alphabet test. Passes. Alright. Let's give him the uh, old uh, zinger here. Give him the old uh, breathalyzer test. Oh! 0.15! We'll uh, go ahead and Mirandize him. All right, dude. You right to me and sign anything you say. Can we be against the court of law to return your present during any and all question? If you can't afford one, uh, one provided by the state of San Andreas, no cost to your own understanding. right to explain to you at this time. Oh, they try to harm me too. Great. Right this way, there, Junior. Good lord, look at me. I'm all busted up. Look at, look what you did. Mess up my makeup and anything. In anything, in anything, and in, in everything. Yes, all of the English words that I cannot speak right now because I'm just so upset. Get in the car, Natasha. All right, you know why you're going to car. Yes, you know why you're going to the car, into the jail, and all the places because you did bad things. All right, guys. Well, we got him stopped. We're gonna get him transported. You find anything over there? Get the uh, car towed, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll see what other. Uh, reckless, potentially life-threatening things we can get into up here in the county. Good lord. So I just got behind this uh, blue... I guess it's metallic ultra blue is what the uh, album's had. That's kind of a really janky stop there. Saying the insurance is valid on this uh, page right here, so we'll, we'll stop it and uh, just verify, in fact, that that's actually the case. Leather... Bad pullover, all things considered. Hit him with the old spotlight. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Yeah, you know, I want to be on a 1050 service road by the L-Jack 949 to Blue Patriot. So I can talk about times more. Oh, am I blocking the 78s in? Really? Alright, well, let's get you off the road here. How about that? So we don't get run over. No harm, no foul, folks. No harm, no foul. Alright. Super slow. Energy cons conserving walk up the side of the Patriot here. Hey, what's going on, man? Officer Slow Walk, how's it going? Uh, hey, man, what's going on? Deputy Paul, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. We don't stop because uh, your tag is saying that you don't have valid insurance. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, no, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. All right, man. Well, geez, you don't have to yell. Good Lord. All right, let's hit him with the old Minga Bongo uh, line of questioning here. Howdy. I'm blah, 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 blah. What the... I'll go harass someone else? <laughs> Gladly. You know the routine. ID, please. What the hell, man? Standard questions. Do you know why I stopped you? No idea, but I will cooperate. Oh, what? What's going on? I don't feel safe. What? 
Oh, oh. that doesn't sound good. Hold on, sir. Someone, with someone inside a white vehicle. You wanna fight, huh? Let's go. Break nine one. I got a fight in progress. The old jack. Drop the bat. One subject armed with a bat. Don't move, man. I don't know, I got two at gunpoint. <laughs> Just left the old boy over there on the uh, on the uh, traffic stop. Hey, man. I'm in the parking lot of Yellow Jack. Got our gang unit showing up here. Hey man, can you cover me? I'm gonna cuff this guy right here. Yep. Sure, no problem. Move. I'm gonna cuff you from the front of your body. How do you like me now? All right, man. Let's move you out of the way. Just move over here. Four, five, eight, ten, eight. Insane, dude. I was like, why, why is there a red circle there? Like, I didn't know, like, spontaneous stuff ha like that happened, but, you know, it is Blaine County and it's the Yellow Jack, so you guys have seen from proverbial uh, OCRP episodes, it's just as wild on this side of uh, San Andreas as it is, as is the other. Alright, man. No way! You want to play, please? Zebra Union 8, yeah, if you just want to take him over to my patrol car, uh, Janel, that'll be fine. Yep. If it'll let you, I don't know. Alright, sure, come with oh, me. Well, that worked. Uh, now you're coming with me, Buster Brown. You know what you did. You're in deep doo doo. Alright. Oh, he changed up his car. Gang units rocking the old, uh, red, uh, red Taurus. I like it. Sorry, man, it's gonna take us like 20 minutes to get over there because I walk super slow. Yeah, you watch it, Buster. I got my eye on you. I got my eye on you. Okay, so we'll get him over here to the cars, guys. We'll uh, we'll pat him down and then. Uh, we'll Anything just... that's gonna poke me, stick me, stab me. All right, he's patting him down. No problem. We'll search this guy. LSIA plane ticket to Vice City and ninety-two dollars cash. A license on you, Herb. It's Herb. Herb is valid. All right, Herb. Watch your head and put you in the back, okay? Oh my God! I know. Listen, dude. Shouldn't be out here fighting, even though you got donked in the head with a bat. Doesn't mean you guys should be out there like donking each other with bats and stuff. Good lord. I don't want to go for it. I got two in custody. Cut this driver loose. Hey man, you're gonna be free to go. If your insurance isn't uh, up to date, just make sure you get it uh, fixed up at the DMV. If not, you'll probably get stopped again, all right? Any questions for me before I let you go? No? All right, man. See ya. Obviously, we have more pressing matters with this freaking fight. Right, we got Mr. Wes Rodriguez here. Hit him with the old Waiting on a return from dispatch. No problem. I have Herb in the back of my car. He's uh, valid. Nope. Uh, I didn't check if he had any priors, but he is valid. I uh, was on a stop. Uh, he's I was clean, on a but he's expired. Okay. Well, I mean, he wasn't driving, but he's gonna go to he's gonna go to uh, go to jail for the uh, battery on on her back there. But they're both they're both gonna go for disorderly conduct, but he'll get an additional charge for uh, for striking the uh, guy with the uh, bat. Would you mind uh, getting him transported for me? Yeah, not a problem. He had a he also had a pocket knife on him. Oh my. Yeah, so I was on here in a traffic stop, and uh, I saw people running from the L Jack, and I was like, what is going on? So I ran over there real quick, and these two were, you know, all involved in a kerfluffle over there. So request additional units and uh, prone them both out at gunpoint, and... Uh... Spread your shit! Get on the ground! 
Loaded gun. Ready to go. Spread your shit. Pussies on the pavement, fellas. That was, uh, that was all she wrote, man. So, I appreciate the, uh, rapid response. Yeah, I was just up there at Flywheels getting ass, too. Well, yeah, I'm glad you got up here so quick. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get a transport yeah. for this guy in here, and then, uh, and then I'll start work on the paperwork. Alrighty. Hey, howdy, boys. I need to... Oh, God. My PT literally just got ran over by a Sand King. Good Lord. Hey, I'm glad you're all right, dude. Just walk that off for me. What's going on? You need coding? We'll help PT uh, get him in the, uh, get him in the old uh, prison transport van here. All right. In the PT van, Mr. J. Knoll is going to get uh, this guy all wrapped up and uh, taken care of. Miranda eyes and the whole sh she biggity bang. That's why you shouldn't be fighting, man. That, that's yeah, not you a tell J. Knoll they shouldn't be fighting. Unreal. How dare you get drunk at a bar and then <sighs> beat somebody with a bat? Unbelievable. Oh, oh it's me. PT Transport 2.0. Well, well it is. It. That's, your, uh, that's your ride. Have a good one, sir. The, uh, gang unit Come Do out better in life. Alright, man. Well, I appreciate the... Uh... <laughs> I guess he's walking himself to jail. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for showing up. I really appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, nothing like we couldn't do it ourselves. Seriously. Well, I appreciate it again, man. Not a problem. I had to uh, trade in that F-150 for something else. Oh, yeah. No, I get it. All right, good buddy. It was I'll stuck on slug mode. I know. I saw it. I'll see you on the next one. Alrighty. Okay, I don't want to be back in service to transport it. All right, guys. In custody, transported. Work code four. And back ten eight. We got a unit down here uh, that's in uh, front of the station. Four five eight for that. Female biker, she left in eastbound on Route 68. Uh, there's a couple different things going on. There was a uh, potential female on a black motorcycle wearing all black, left the 24-7 uh, in Harmony, and uh, possibly robbed it, so 458 was put a ball out for that. And then uh, 096, the uh, gang unit that's 10 right now, is advising that there's some type of blockage or something over here on Alhambra. Request the additional unit. So uh, we're gonna head over here and uh, check out with him and uh, see what uh, what exactly is going on. Holy cow! It's a train thing. I know what they said. I guess we probably should block the road. Honestly. Throw up a uh, speed zone here, so we don't have a bunch of uh, 78 just absolutely ripping through here. How does that even happen? Jenna, what's going on, man? Uh, coming down the road to get a cup of coffee, and this uh, lovely thing is blocking the way. How did he even get here? Like, honestly, how does something that's, like this... That's what I'm wanting to know. Even, like, get... Like, how, how would this get from the tracks over here? I have questions. So uh, many questions. Sir, can you tell me how this uh, railroad car got uh, here on Alhambra? You're wheeling and dealing. My name is Jeff. Uh, I don't know what, how are we going to get this thing off this road? Well, I mean, I can give 
uh, railroad a call uh, and see if they have a way to move it. If not, they'll have to get a crane out here to get it removed, man. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, let me hop in the car and make some calls, and then uh, we'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. All right, so I think I'll go back in the uh, car here. I'll switch over to the information channel, have the dispatcher call, uh, I guess, railroad, and figure out, one, how in the world their rail, their rail car got onto Alhambra, and uh, if they want it back, if they can send out a crane to, to get it off the road here so the the citizens of Sandy can drive up down the road. If not, this is going to be a giant hassle. Can anyone help you switch channels for a uh, crane? All right, guys, I'm going to call a crane, or call a crane, jeez. I'm going to call the other dispatcher, I'm going to get a hold of railroad and see if we can't get this thing removed. Well, guys, as you see back there, uh, we were able to uh, get a crane out here and have the uh, tanker or freight or whatever it was removed from Alhambra, which is great. And uh, we got the gentleman transported down here to the department to follow up with the detectives on why or how that even happened. But that's going to conclude episode three, guys. I hope you enjoyed episode three of the 5PD series. Stay tuned for more guests. For more action-packed 5PD uh, action with the FCF crew, as always, much love to you. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. And as always, I will catch you next time. We'll see you.